Happy Friday, 9 News Meteorologist Lauren Robinson here. We're going to start our early morning hours with some heavy rain and snow south of the Denver metro area, mostly across the Palmer Divide and to the southern border. But as we go through the afternoon, we're going to watch for this system to lift its way northward. So by late morning into afternoon hours, we're looking for some light scattered rain showers around Denver and the rest of the front range with some lighter snow showers up in the high country. These continue to be more widespread and scattered as we go into our Friday afternoon and then late Friday night things start to clear out, but just momentarily with that snow that we're expecting in the high country, southern portions of the Denver foothills areas are expecting around four to 10 inches of snow. Uh, central portions of the high country that does include the Eisenhower Tunnel, mountains of Summit County. These areas expecting maybe half a foot to a foot of new snow and then the higher elevations to the south is going to be the wet mountains, Sangre de Cristo, La Grita and the uh, eastern San Juans. These areas are expecting around three to eight inches of new snow fall. These winter weather advisories expire noon Friday, so until then you really want to be hazardous of travel conditions in those areas. We take another look at our snow forecast. Most of the central and southern portions of the high country are going to get between two to five inches of new snow with higher totals across the higher elevations. And then as we zoom into the front range, it's going to be the southern foothills areas that are going to get that accumulating snow. A couple of inches there, we could see a quick dusting move its way northward through Eldora, Allens Park, and into Estes Park. For our afternoon highs, we are going to be a little bit uh, uh, below average again for another afternoon with our seasonal highs, usually in the upper 60s. We're going to be maxing out in the upper 50s in Denver. Most of the front range will be in the 50s. We could see some 60s across the eastern plains where things will be a bit drier. The high country will rise into the 40s and 50s, and we're looking at highs in the 60s across the western slope. So we're going to get warmer as we move through Mother's Day weekend. We're back in the upper 60s. Seasonal temperatures for our Saturday and Sunday. Both of these days, if you have those outdoor Mother's Day activities, you'll want to do them earlier in the day, likely before noon, before we get those afternoon and evening scattered showers and isolated storms. The same thing continues as we go through our work week, only warmer temperatures. We're going to see the middle 70s Monday, Tuesday and next Thursday.